Cancer is not just a physical battle. It is a battle of the body, the mind, and the soul. When you have cancer, your body is in a state of war. And if you don't address what's going on physically, mentally, and spiritually, there's no way that you can fully win the war. Now to step away from some of these like poetic uh, terms like war and so forth, let me break it down a, a little bit more uh, in layman's terms. Your body works based on, sure, genetics, but then those genetics are turned on and turned off based on what's going on environmentally. What's going on environmentally inside the body and outside the body. That's one way that it works. But what's going on inside the body is also determined by what you're thinking and feeling. The mind directly influences our cells and how they behave through our nervous system. Now, this isn't just my opinion. This is a fact. If you go through and read the book Radical Remission, the author actually did some research of hundreds of people who had cancer who then went into remission and looked at all of the cases and everything that they had done prior to going into remission and found 12 common things that every single one of those people did. There were many other things that were done that were outliers and some people did it, some people didn't, but there were 12 that they all did. And this is across age groups, across culture, across gender, all of it. And one of those is what I'm really talking about today. And that is dealing with the mind and the soul aspects of their health. And that was dealing with thinking, feeling, relationships, and using prayer, meditation, and going through healing when it came to some of the relationship issues that they had. Now, it all looked a little different, but it dealt with those same concepts. And that's what I really wanna to talk to you about today. Okay, so when you are thinking or feeling something negatively due to your relationships, with yourself, your relationship with God, your relationship with others, and you're, you feel or think something negatively, your body is going to respond to that negative thought. And some of us may not even be aware of what's happening, but those negative thoughts and feelings or situations that we put ourselves in, toxic environments and so forth, put our body in a state of what's called fight or flight, right? If we don't experience this very often, we notice it very easily. But if we are experiencing this on the daily, if we struggle with negative thinking, uh, negative feeling, negative relationships, those types of things, we can be what's called stuck. Now, how does this affect cancer, okay? What happens is when your body is stuck in a, in a fight, flight, or frozen state due to environmental stress, relational stress, emotional stress, and so forth, what it does is it puts your body into survival mode. And all that means is get away from the bear, right? So it will, your body will swell up with inflammation and all it wants to do is increase the cortisol and get you out of there. There is no time for your cells to absorb nutrients so that it can have time to strengthen. There's no time for your cells to clean up and kind of get rid of the mess inside their house because they're running from a bear. There's no time for that. So it's only in a state of rest and digest, the parasympathetic nervous system, that your body is actually able to slow down and actually strengthen itself so that it can fight the bear later on if it encounters it later on, right? So that is when the food that you're putting in, you know, the supplements that you're taking in, all of those types of things are helping strengthen those cells. And your thinking is helping teach your mitochondria to behave better, right? So that it can, it stops making cancer. Here's the issue. If you have cancer, your body wasn't able to fight it. Every single person in this world has some sort of cancer cells in their body at this very moment. The difference is, is their bodies were able to attack it and get rid of it where the ones whose mitochondria wasn't acting accordingly, the cancer took over the cell. So that's why I go back to the state of war. Like imagine yourself in the state of war and you're running from, you know, from this enemy who's attacking you and taking over. It doesn't matter if you've got a, a celery stick to eat while you're running. Your body's not gonna have time to even use that celery stick to do anything to strengthen your body if you're still trying to battle this. So you have to really put yourself in a place where you're doing a few things. One, you're obviously trying to eliminate what's 
weakening your, your system, right? So you're putting in good food, you're taking in good supplements, but you're also reducing the things that are hurting you, like toxins that are physical, but also toxic thinking, toxic relationships, those types of things. You're eliminating the bad, you're putting in the good, right? And you're reminding yourself and reminding your body that it is time to heal, telling your body that you don't have to run from that bear anymore, you have time to strengthen it. Now, meanwhile, what, maybe you're doing chemo, maybe you're doing radiation, maybe you're doing vitamin C infusions and so forth that are directly attacking the cancer cells. Maybe you're taking some off-label drugs that are starving that cancer cell at the same time. That's good, right? You wanna do all three. You wanna be attacking the enemy, but also strengthening your body so that you can fight the enemy. Right, And that way, when the cancer is gone, you can make sure that it doesn't come back because your body knows how to handle it if it comes back. You can't do that without addressing all three of those environments, right? Going back to keeping yourself in parasympathetic rest and digest mode as often as possible. And the only way that you can do that is by controlling your thoughts and your feelings based on how you see yourself your relationship with yourself, your relationship with God, and your relationship with others. So if you have cancer right now, I want you to really, in addition to working on your body, really look at what is your type of thinking pattern and feeling pattern that you go through every day? How are your relationships? Do you love yourself? How are you doing with yourself, right? What about your relationship with God? All three of those need to be addressed. Heal from those as you're healing your body and you will beat this cancer.